Uh, she's deaf. You don't have to talk to her. She just wanted to see you. Thank you. <laughs> you are a very beautiful young lady. <laughs> What's your Beautiful name. <laughs> now, I tell you what. Do you know Jingle Bells? Yeah. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Darling, what would you like for Christmas? A doll and a bear when you shall have them. Sammy, I wish you a Merry Christmas. Yes, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, why don't you watch where you're going? Are you blind? Hello? No, but I'm deaf. What? I'm deaf. You don't sound deaf. Well, you don't look ignorant, but I guess you can't judge a book, right? name is happening right now i'm joey lucas you're joey lucas no i'm joey lucas help me because i i don't you idiot i'm joey lucas ah uh. ah uh, okay i'm josh lyman i know who you are you're joey lucas what were you expecting a uh, man i'm a woman you're o'dwyer's campaign manager Yes, and I have three sources. Two at the DNC. What the hell are you wearing? Me? Yes. I was, I, uh, I, I spilled some things on my clothes. Tell you what, let's, let's just take a deep breath for a second while I try and remember, you know, where I am right now. Are you drunk? I have a very delicate system. Okay, look, I'm totally serious about this. I'm trying to get a guy elected to Congress. It's gonna be a very tight race, and I wanna know why the White House is screwing around with me. Excuse me. Thank God. What's going on? This is my assistant, Donna Moss. Donna? Joey Lucas. Hi. I'm just gonna go... I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go change my clothes. I'll, I'll be right back. It took you long enough. You got stuck at DuPont Circle again. Oh, do you have any idea how dumb I looked in there? So Joey Lucas is a woman? Yes. And she's deaf? Yes. Cool. Give me that.
up on the farm. And aside from the challenges of being deaf, he's had a pretty rough childhood. He's been uprooted and, and you know, shipped around here and there. His birth mom, she had problems with drugs, and when I got him, he had no speech or language at all. And then his dad hit a rough patch, and he went back to live with his natural mother, and it was really hard on Brandon. And I think skating kind of grounded him. It's kind of a freedom for him. You don't need a language when you're on the board. I just think that this is so good for him just to meet other people, to travel, and there's so much more in the world for him. And my thing is just go. You can always come home. Your death? Yes, I, I lost all my hearing when I was 18 years old. Wow, and how old are you now? Uh, 29, so it's 10 years. The sky is gray, much more than it is blue. But I know one day I'll get through. And I'll take my place again. If I would try If I would try Oh, there is no one for me to blame Mandy, I don't think you're gonna need a translator for this. I was driving down on the freeway. Oh, it was a beautiful day. All the birds were flying, <laughs> and all the birds were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> and all the birds dropping. Hey, you! I got you there. All of a sudden, I looked at the wheel meal. The guy behind me was so angry. Hey, you! What are you, that, huh? 
Wow, that makes me angry, of course. I'm dead and proud. Do I step on the gas? Oh, by the way, I have a Mercedes status, 500 SEL. I'm wish and them. Thank you very much. Finally, I caught up with that car. Automatic window. Hey, you! What are you hearing? Huh? Yeah.